Uh, I don't know how you're gonna get my legs in. Let's do it like this. Let's come in. Let's come in. Right, the legs are coming in. Oh, look at that. Those separations there. Peace. Let's go on a walk. So, Pure Gym's Wi Fi still isn't working, which is awesome. So, I can't be asked doing cardio in the silence because I can't connect to Spotify. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on doing some steps, go home and do my cardio on the bike at home and try and replicate the intensity that I'm doing currently at Pure Gym. So a bit annoying but oh well, we get some extra steps in. I'm watching Wonka while on the bike. It's actually quite nice. I'm about half an hour in, so I've got another 15 minutes to go. I am getting hungry, guys. Very hungry. I love chocolate. Hello, I'm starving. It's my first meal. As per, it's gonna be 16 Weetabix and uh, some berries with some whey. I'm gonna see you at the table and we'll talk at the table. I actually want to try and eat it as fast as possible. Practicing for the 48 Weetabix challenge, you know, so uh, I don't know why I'm standing like. <laughs> I'm gonna do make that now and then see you at the table. Yes, guys, I think we're ready to go. Put this back slightly, more review. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Ready to go. First meal. Let's go. I need to do the intro. Although I'm on a diet, I'm going to try and eat 16 Weetabix as fast as possible to practice for the 48 Weetabix challenge. 16 Weetabix in here. Got some whey. Got my timer. Let's see if it works. Woo! Once the water's in, we'll start the timer. A bit more water. Right, three, two, one. Let's go. Make all done, make all soggy. Two minutes and 44 seconds. Oh, how on earth did Max versus Food do 48 in three and a half minutes? Woo! I'm pretty happy with that time. Two minutes and 44 seconds for 16 weight mix. I can get it in sub 10. I can get it in sub 10 next time I'm doing it. Sub 10, you've heard it here first. <sighs> Man, well, that was lovely. That was lovely. Right, I'm gonna see, clear what the calories were on that meal. Oh, right, the calories on that meal were uh, it is 1,400 calories, uh, 85 protein, 225 carb, 8 fat. Right, guys, well, that was lovely. I need to crack on with a bit of work now. Uh, so I'll see you at the next meal. Wash up. Oh my god. The audio the audio is going to be so bad on that. The audio is going to be so bad on that. Jesus, because it's been in my pocket. <laughs> Oops, my next, my next meal is gonna be two pitters, two flatbreads, 12 eggs and, uh, 12 egg whites and six, six eggs. Can't wait for that meal, it's one of my favorite meals. But what I was saying is it's a bit disappointing that um, I did, um, well, I did that so fast because I like to enjoy my Weetabix, but you know what, content's content. Got to get that practice in, so it's not too bad. Two minutes, 44 seconds for 12 Weetabix. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, 16 Weetabix, then. Not too bad at all. Right, boys and girls. Right, I'm gonna go. See you later.
Oh, right. Uh, I'm literally just about to go on a call. Half 11. Look at the state of that, guys. Absolute state of it. I was on a call then and I made my food and I'm literally going to call in a minute. It's half 11. Let's, let's do it. I'm going to give you guys a yum. And then well, I need to eat. I put the calories up. Bon Appetit. Mm. Honestly, uh, one of my favourite cookie meals is the volume is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mm. Bon Appetit. Yum. That fell out. Mm. Yum. Look at what we have for lunch. Ostrich, 3.4 grams of fat, all that good stuff. Look at it, it's so good. Just look at that. Oh, absolutely sublime. Cannot wait to eat it. Oh, guys, this looks unreal. I'm going to get myself an apple fork. Just in case. Then we have the gym. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. to do it with my knife and fork guys sorry find meals you enjoy guys and it makes the dieting so much easier I've said it before and I'll say it again if you are a food is fuel I don't need it to taste good kind of person you're lying to yourself I don't believe you couldn't think of anything worse than having a bland meal. Because even now I'll be hungry in about an hour, I know that this meal slapped. I can't, I can't remember if, if I've said this before, but I'll be going to Pure. I'll be going to Pure Gym more on this diet. I was going to Ultraflex, un unbelievable gym, really, really good gym, but I find myself always talking without even knowing I'd be there for three hours. Three hours. My sessions are normally about, what, an hour and a bit max? I don't know if I was getting the right intensity down. I wasn't getting the right intensity down. I love that five minutes between a set just chatting. Don't get me wrong, the gym is a great place to socialise and I love the gym. But sometimes I just want to get my headphones in, crack on and make gains. So I've been going to Pure Gym recently because I found myself getting in a better zone. Not only that, is I don't have a car, so getting to Ultraflex, uh, Scarcroft or Seacroft in North Leeds was costing me around 20 quid a day in Ubers. Thank God I've been selling stuff and using my influence. <laughs> I couldn't care about commission. Yes, it's nice, but I won't lie to so make money. All the stuff I use, I have used in the past. Perform, I, got, I caught on to them in about 2020. And I've been using their stuff since about 2020. I have not looked back since. Cookie, Cookie Champions, formerly known as Cookie Dealer, have been around for a long time. I first fell onto them into in lockdown as well. So I started buying their stuff because I was obsessed with cookies in lockdown. And I like their cookies. And now I'm sponsored by them. Build and Bake, another protein dessert company. I fell onto them into lock in lockdown, had a few of their orders, slapped, and then now I'm sponsored by them. Believe you me, plenty of companies have come to me and said, we'd like to sponsor you. My first thing is, one, I've never heard of you. Two, I've never used your products before, so I need to find out what your products are like. And three, if you want me to do a review of your product and it's bad, I'm gonna tell people it's bad. And I tell you what, they're not too happy. They don't respond after I've said that. I don't care. Why would I lie for financial gain? 
I've been in people's shoes before. I've been lied to in the past by influencers and fitness people. Oh, this product absolutely smacks. It's so good. Oh, yeah, it arrives and it tastes like dog poo. Utter dog poo. My final sponsor is Kezi, and I fell onto them about, oh, what? Last year, summer. Summer of last year when I um, started an exotic meat series. He did not, I'd never heard of Kezi before, and I started buying their products, and uh, they slap. I got my ostrich from there today, and now I've teamed up with them. My request, oh shit. I asked them, I said, do you want to team up? I've been using your products for ages. I, li I like your products, they're really good. I want to bring them to a wider market. And yeah, I want to help people as much as they want to help me. Whoever is, out, whoever is out there wanting to get, and I think it's a dream to be sponsored. Is it cool to be affiliated with a brand? Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Should it be someone's only goal in life? No, oh, no, not at all. This absolutely smacked. Unreal. Mm. Right. That was sublime. So unbelievably good. If you've never had ostrich before, it's like a, oh, so hard to explain. It's quite smoky and it's quite gamey as well. But oh my God, it slaps so hard. Right. I'm going to get ready for the gym. Well, I already am ready for the gym. When I say I'm going to get ready for the gym, I'm just going to chill out and do a bit of work. And probably go to the gym in about 45 minutes. Chest. <coughs> Chest. Um, delts and triceps. Let's get it. So we're going to be starting off with five sets of inc of. Uh, actually, I actually don't even know what we're starting off with. Ooh. Five sets of side side machine raises between 12 and 20 reps. Let's go. And that song hits just right. Ah. 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 Oh my God, getting a little bit weaker. Whew. It's very common in a cut to get weaker. It's part and parcel of it. It's gonna happen because you're on less food, less energy, more fatigue. There's gonna be more cardio in there. Uh, your sleep might not be as good. So you, you are gonna get weaker, but it's really important to kind of try your hardest. Still don't accept the fact that you're gonna get weaker. You still wanna work as hard as you did at peak, peak bulk. You still wanna push those sets as hard as, as hard as possible. Your body will thank you in your next bulk when you push up and you'll get stronger quicker or you'll, you'll get past your peak strength quicker. Oh God, pure gym. Anyway, I've got four more sets of this, and then I'll see you on the um, chest fly machine. Right lads and ladies and men and women. I've switched it up, normally I do a pec deck, but uh, recently I swapped over to this. I feel as though I can get further back. I can get more of a stretch without it impeding on my shoulder. Whereas with a pec deck, especially in pure gym pec deck, my shoulder comes into play and I get a really bad niggle in my shoulder so um, I've swapped for this there's no pain in my shoulder I can get a proper stretch and the stretch is where you grow the most it's the weakest part of the muscle weakest part of the movement so that is where you're going to grow the most never neglect on your stretch guys never neglect on it to quote Dr Mag Isratel don't neglect your stretch I don't think he's ever said that I'll watch a video where he was talking about this. <sighs> Very good. Again, I'd just love to see his eccentric go a little bit slower and maybe that one second bottom pause to really stretch the packs, but that's being nitpicky. This is really good stuff. Right, we're gonna do four more sets of that. Then we're going to go into a incline press. So I'll see you at the incline press. To all of the dweebs that go, this is too much volume. Are you as big as me? 
I was an idiot. I forgot to press uh, record on my incline plate loaded press. I got three sets of, oh, I got three sets of, well, first set, first set was 12, 120, then I got 10, 120, then I got seven on 120. So last week I got 12, 10, nine. So we're, we're regressing a bit, but still try my best. But now we've got three sets of single arm side raises with the cable. Let's get it. Try and squeeze right at the top. Get the contraction there and squeeze. Partials. Oh. Now you're gonna see my ass. Another two sets of that, and then we're gonna go into some flat press. Then finally finishing off the session with some, um, like a finisher on the chest fly. Right, we've got three sets here, eight to 12. I'll probably get 12, 10, and whatever happens on the last set. So I'll film the first set. Let's go. Right, so final exercise is a triple drop set. Failure at each time. I'm gonna start off with a stack and we're gonna go slowly down. Well, slowly. Three drops and we're done. We've got some triceps to do. But let's go. Two notches, give it five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, come on. Uh. Oh, God. Ow. Three, two, one. Go on, last one. That's why I love the gym. <laughs> that hurt like hell. Oh, but I love it. Absolutely love the gym. That feeling, endorphin release. Oh, at the end of a hard set. Oh, nothing quite like it. Nothing quite like it. I've got nothing to compare it to anyway. It's either the pump or a cookie, but you can have a cookie pump. <laughs> right, anyway, so some triceps to do now. Then we're out of here. I'll do my cardio at home. <sighs> right, lads, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, we're gonna do three sets of triceps here with a tricep Vulcan rope, unreal. Got a long attachment, short attachment. Um, can't really explain it more. Just get, gets a proper good uh, stretch and squeeze. Uh. 
Hey. Ooh. Three sets of that, then we're done. Boys and girls, that was a chest, shoulders and triceps session. See you from final meal when we get home. I'm pretty hungry. Probably after cardio. I don't know. I'll eat it whenever, whenever I feel hungry. I did cardio here, thought might as well. So uh, I've just dried myself off a bit. Now I'm gonna go see what the back's looking like. Oh. But uh, now I'm gonna go home and have my food now because I'm starving. Hank Marvin. Well, this is what we're looking like. Eesh. We're getting there, a lot to go, but we're getting there. Almost. Oh, just finished at the gym. Uh, final meal. You know what it is. One of my favorite meals of the day. Greek yogurt, some peanut butter mixed in, some honey mixed in, 400 grams of um, strawberries in the freezer. Yum. Yum. Oh. Oh, it's nice. It looks like a refreshing treat to finish off the day. Love it. You could add whey to it if you wanted to add whey to it, but I don't really feel like it. It's already got 45 grams of protein in. So adding too much would be a bit too much in one sitting. Especially on a diet, I'd rather eat, eat more of my protein. Hence why I have eight chicken eggs. <laughs> mm. The ostrich was nice today. You can get it from Kezi. I've already said it, but... Oh, good chest session at the gym. And, uh, yeah. It's really just the same, same stuff, different day. That's it. I'm managing fatigue and um, hunger really well. I've not been absolutely dying of ah, just bit my lip. Ow. I've not been start but dying of starvation, so I've been doing really well. I'm happy with how it's going, to, to be honest. The slight hint of peanut butter in there is sublime. Ah. Genuinely, if you know what your body reacts well to in terms of food on both a cut and a bulk, it makes things so much easier. For me, on a bulk, I, I get rid of stuff like your potatoes, introduce more rice, I'll get rid of egg whites because there's so much volume to them. I'll add more chicken, more lower volume meats and proteins. But on a cut, I get rid of like cream of rice. On a cut, I'll get rid of cream of rice. I'll swap back in potatoes. I'll bring back egg, egg whites. I'll find different carb sources that are higher in volume. It's just a case of manipulating your calories in a way that you're getting similar or more volume of food for a lower amount of calories. So if you can understand that, dieting is easy. Yeah, I'll get to a point in the next probably week or so where I am really, really hungry and um, all the tools have come out. But to say, am I struggling? No, I'm really enjoying it. But that is also because my stress is quite low. If I was prepping for a show, there's more stress there. Are you ready? Are you not? There's no stress here, so I'm just enjoying the process. And that is a big part of dieting. You've got to enjoy it. Don't get over, overly stressed about it. Trust the process. Find foods you enjoy eating and just do your cardio, eat your food, get your sleep and hit the gym hard. I find dieting way easier than I do bulking. Bulking is a, a very long slog of food eating. Yeah, I can eat a lot of food, but it's a very, very long slog of ch chowing down food, losing condition, which is very mentally hard for a lot of people that have been in ridiculously lean shape. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a it's a mental battle as well as a physical battle as well, because you want to be using those calories as much as possible in the gym so you don't waste them sessions. Uh, it's, just, it's the same for a diet, but you're naturally gonna get weaker uh, during a diet and it's a case of trying to not as get as weak. But on a bulk, you really wanna be pushing every single session to the point where if you don't progress, you are a bit annoyed with yourself. And uh, that's not a bad thing to say, it's how much do you want it? So that's it, another day, another diet day done. I might do another one, but we're looking good, we're feeling good. Actually, no, I'm filming on this uh, this weekend because I've got a refeed day now, so I'll film that this weekend, uh, more higher volume 
foods. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you at the next video. But man, I'm getting a bit sleepy and I've got a load of packing to do because I'm moving out of this flat. Oh God, there's a lot to pack. Oh, right, let's get it.